Welcome to the Chicago Auto Show, an incredible event where the public can see some of the coolest and most interesting brand new cars. And let me tell you, there's some really, really cool cars here. I am here on the media day, coming to check out the cars early, give you guys a preview of what's to come. And after a walk around, it is an incredible show. Can't wait to show, share it with you all. And if you enjoy this video, remember to like and subscribe, but sit back, relax. My name is Patrick, the King of Cars, and this is the 2024 Chicago Auto Show. And here we have one of the most talked about cars, probably of the last decade, the all new Tesla Cybertruck, Tesla's new pickup truck. And well, I mean, it's a pickup truck with a twist, stainless steel body, and the styling is just absolutely unworldly, literally because they wanna take this thing to Mars and it is just so cool. And coming in here, I do not know how to open this door, but I guess I figured it out. Because it's stainless steel, it feels like you're just opening a fridge. And in here, it's pretty, minimalist like most Teslas are. You got the panoramic roof there, the yoke steering wheel first found on the plaid, huge touchscreen in the middle, nothing in front of you. And it's just so, so interesting. I mean, the toenail cover or however you pronounce it, it goes down, it retracts, and it is just so cool. And I cannot wait to see these out on the roads. I think this could be a big game changer for Tesla and the truck market in general, because for the last 50 or so years, trucks have all looked the same. And now this is a big disruption to the market. And I can't wait to see what happens with these. And now Luke is standing in to show us a interesting feature on the Cybertruck. I am putting you on the spot. As you can see, it's going down into low mode. It's basically a Ford GT. And speaking of crazy electric family cars, here's the new Volkswagen ID Buzz. Basically, the new Volkswagen bus, which is really, really cool. And let's open this up here because I have already found a glitch with the car. I'm not sure if this is actually a problem or if they're just doing this for fun, but there's a GTI, or not even a GTI, it's just a base golf, which they have to fix. And then walking around here, I love this color blue with the white on top. I think it is such a nice spec. Got the baskets back here, which actually is a pretty, pretty good idea. I don't know how many cars do this because I cover supercars, but this thing's cool. I like this. And here we have probably the car I'm most excited to see here at the auto show, the all new Ford Mustang GTD. But it's kind of hard to call a Mustang because in most terms, it isn't a Mustang because this car is not actually being built by Ford. It's built by Multimatic, who just finished production of another car called the GT. Might have heard of it. It has an exorbitant price tag of north of $300,000, which has definitely caused a big stir. But for this car, let me explain. It's basically a GT3 car for the road. It has got a transaxle in the rear rather than a traditional V8 transmission in the middle like most Mustangs. And look at that swan neck rear wing. This thing is complete race car for the road. And I know that term is used a lot, but just come look back here. Look at the massive diffuser and you got the fans back here. This thing is a just a tried and true track car for the road. It's essentially a Mustang GT3 RS and I cannot wait to see these things on the road, see these things being driven and enjoyed. And who knows, maybe I'll be lucky enough to film one in the future. And I mean, look at this front suspension, just absolutely insane. The track compared to a Mustang GT is four inches wider, which explains the huge wide body that the car has. And then moving on the transaxle full carbon fiber prop shaft. This thing is huge. And the transaxle back here, so, so cool. R directly from a race car. It's just the coolest thing. And over here, we got the rear pushrod suspension, basically Formula One stuff on a Mustang. This thing is so cool. It's like, I am a Chevy guy, I will admit. But this, I want this. I want this a lot. And here we are at the Wintrust Supercar Gallery with a lot of gems, including this Bentley Bentayga art car. Super cool. I don't know too much about it, but it's got a lot of drawings from Britain. And do the best you can and never stop. That's a pretty good good uh, quote made by Stephen Wiltshire. Beautiful car as well. Like the spec in and of itself is nice and I love art cars. So this is awesome. And speaking of good specs, look at this McLaren 750S Spider in amethyst purple. And if you remember this color, it was the color of the P1 demo that was on Top Gear Grand Tour. It is a very famous color and not many people spec McLarens in this color for how famous it is. This is actually my first time seeing the new 750 as well. It's basically the new version of the 720S which some find with some findings from the 765 LT, sort of an in-between, kind of like an equivalent of like an F8 Tributo to the 720. 
And in this spec, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Also gorgeous is the all new Maserati MC20 Cielo, the new convertible version of the MC20. And just look at that color. That spec is amazing. And then the Aston Martin DB12, which from back here looks exactly like a DB11. We're gonna have to go around front to see the new front fascia and green over tan, always a great spec. And I wasn't too fond of this in the pictures, but in person, I think it looks a lot better. Then moving on, DBX 707, got the all new Rolls Royce Spectre. I keep saying the word all new, but it is an auto show after all. And this is the new electric version of the Rolls. Coupe kind of replaces the Wraith. And I think EV makes so much sense for a Rolls Royce. And just look at the orange pinstripe and the orange interior, super cool stuff. And speaking of Wraith, got another one here. Just a lot of goodies here. And the Spectre looks absolutely insane. Look at this Continental GTC. Blue, white interior, always a win. Love this spec. A lot of Bentleys and Rolls Royces here from Pirello. Now we're in the Pirello section. Another black Bentley, white Bentley. Purple Dawn with a white interior. White interiors, in my opinion, are always a win. And just look at that. Look at that purple. Got another Spectre. And look at this ghost here. It's gray, black roof, and a blue interior. Kind of reminds me of the old Chemical Method Vitesse, which is super cool. Moving on, we got the Phantom, which is basically Jamera launch spec, gray with the yellow interior, a green-ish Cullinan <laughs> with orange. That's nuts. And here, look at this Urus S, gold, gold Urus S with gold wheels. I love this spec so much. You wouldn't think that this would work, but somehow it does. Got an STO here in a frozen blue with red accents. Very, very crazy and an orange Storado. I love the Storado so much. It is one of my favorite new cars out in current production. And ending it off with a very familiar car on the channel, this, the Azuro Tetius Countach. I saw this car get delivered in one of my first videos over a year ago now. And if you haven't checked out that video, please do so because it was a, such a fun day. Getting to see this delivered alongside the Verde Temis Countach, which was in last year's auto show. But this one is my favorite spec. Out of the six or so new Countachas I've seen in the last year, I think this one might be my favorite. Got the bronze calipers, got the tan interior, which you can't really see right now because the windows are tinted, and the bronze badging as well, like the Lamborghini badge there. Such a cool spec. And finally being able to see it not surrounded by people and in snow. And it's just oh so gorgeous. I love this car so much. This thing's gonna get catch a lot of eyes here at the auto show. And here's the interior of the Countach yet again. Got the bronze piping here and in the center console. It's just so cool. It's pretty much an Aventador, but it's a lot more comfy. Like there's a lot more cushiness to the seat than a regular Aventador. And it's just, it's so cool. And the skylight there is pretty cool as well. Getting a little bit of glare from the lighting, but this thing's so, so cool. I love this car. And here we are at the Chai Town Exotics Car Club, starting off with this Aventador Pirelli edition, one of 50. Got the matte white pearlescent paint with the black roof and the red stripes and then the red pirelli stripes on the wheels super cool and then moving on a very familiar car to the channel the second city exotics 918 spider that i did sort of a review on if you didn't check out that video please go do so i i think that is my favorite video i filmed last year it is just so much fun and getting to ride in this car was a real experience and the other hijinks that ensued many great memories with this car Another familiar car on the channel, the Nora RWB, the Nakaisan personal RWB 993 convertible. Super cool car. Just the extra wide kit. It's just insane. Here we have a Liberty Walk 720S in this really, really vibrant purple paint with orange accents in the interior, the bronze calipers. I think I saw this car at SEMA. I can't say for sure because SEMA is pretty crazy, but it seems familiar. I might have seen it before. Moving on, we got a Radical RXC GT3, road converted though. One of only one, I think, road converted. Back me up on that, I'm not sure. And then moving on, two cars, not from Chicago, but from the Indianapolis area, from Graham Rahal Performance, this Volvo P1800 Scion Racing Resto Mod, essentially a Resto Mod built by Volvo, and it's just so cool. Kind of a P1800 with the Singer treatment, and it is just insane, but even more insane, is this the Camara 037 not an 037 by vin but it is an actual launch it's based on a beta 
and look at that four cylinder. It's supercharged and turbocharged, like the race cars and the road cars as well, but this thing is so cool. What an incredible continuation of the 037 legacy, and just look at the stripped out interior. No expense spared with this build, and GRP is offering this thing for like $1.3 million, so this thing is absolutely nuts, and getting to see this thing in person too is quite the treat, quite the experience. And got some other very notable cars in the area, the Chicago Car Guy Huracan, got the Zoka Media F-Type, and a very cool AMG GTS that is built for Time Attack. And here we have a Bronco Raptor, and we're gonna go for a little bit of a ride, so this should be interesting. But I'm just gonna kind of like, you know, this smooth ride to this side. Okay, we're... And you know, it's like... <laughs> that is... At 21 degrees. Side 21 degrees to the right. Right about here. I'm pretty much balancing this thing on three wheels from that right side. Jeez. And then once, and now you feel the wheel coming in like drive. And then once we get right about here, now all four wheels are on the ground because the stay bar disconnect, wow. disconnected. Now yes. this thing will just glide through here. So it's like very, very nice and comfortable as you're going through here. Got some poke. That is a large hill. Yeah, that is. So it's like a nearly 40 degree incline, a nearly 40 degree decline as well. So it's a little bit nuts, dude. My foot off the gas, and this thing is just climbing up by itself. And I'm just having my foot hovering over the brake. And I'm just going to be rolling again. This is good night. What? We're like laying back right now. Now we're all the way to the top, so if this is like your first time uh, like rolling through, Good you can just like actually get it over here. Yeah. So, yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, this is... Just drive this very nice and smooth. Oh, and like the amazing part about this <laughs> is driving, you can just like go oh, all the way. That is and insane. You can come to a complete stop as well, which is really cool. amazing. Right? <laughs> what? That is <laughs> that is wild. It's really cool. This is a really fun car, for real. So it's a good three liter engine with a V6 twin turbo, you know, like at least like 100, or like 100 uh, more horsepower than the regular uh, V6 from the Badlands. So it's really an mm -hmm. amazing vehicle for sure. Yeah. So thank you guys for riding with Thank me. you. Thank so you, you so much. Want. And here we have the Illinois Camaro Club, which I am absolutely swooning over because there's so many incredible Camaros from first gen, second gen, third gen, fourth gen, fifth gen, sixth gen, and at least one of each, which is really, at least two of each, which is really cool. And I find myself most gravitated towards this third gen. I mean, big motor, it's always a good thing. And it's a third gen, which is my favorite, no bias. And moving on from Chevrolets of old to Chevrolets of new, got the three C8 models here, the three that are out so far, got the blue Stingray, the gray Z06 with all of the carbon options, the Z07 package, the carbon wheels, super cool spec too, and the new E-Ray, the new hybrid Corvette, which is essentially a Stingray, but with the electric motors in the front, and it is the quickest Corvette ever, 0-60 to 60 in two and a half seconds, so that is a Veyron level 0-60, to 60, which is absolutely nuts, and it looks cool. I like how it retains a lot of the Z06 aero, like the wide bodies, got the huge intake here, but it is also much more subtle than the Z06. I mean, the aero at the same time isn't as dramatic. I mean, this car obviously has the Z07 package, so it's going to be a lot crazier, but I think this is a very good option if you wanted a Stingray that you could ideally daily drive any day of the year. Here we are at the Claremont Collections booth. They've got some real treasures here, a pink Jeep, a not pink Jeep, and the very first YJ production Jeep, serial number 001 in brown. I actually quite like this color scheme a lot. Very special car, and I think even more special is this, the Tucker 48. One of my favorite, favorite, barely post-war cars. Built in 1948, only 51 of these produced. The Tucker story, if you haven't heard about it, amazing movie about it these cars were so ahead of their time and essentially tucker got completely destroyed by the big car makers but this thing was so cool helicopter engine i prefer these in black but seeing one in red is really cool i didn't think i was going to see one of these today but a lot of surprises here at the auto show including this tucker it's just so 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 cool then moving on we've got two halves 
of a Ford Fairlane because at the front, it's a Fairlane. And then at the front, it's also a Fairlane. Moving on, a concept Oldsmobile Cutlass 442, convertible, love the 442s. And this thing is so cool with the shift paint, very ahead of its time predicted the hypercar culture of today where every car needs to have shift paint and this did it back in 68 and of course rounding it out with the very iconic mystery machine zoinks and here at subaru we have some puppies having a bit of a fight oh goodness they're so cute and here is yet another familiar car on the channel, the Subaru Family Huckster, Travis Pastrana's Gymkhana Monster, the 862 brake horsepower legacy wagon with all the active aero. Got to see this a few months ago at SEMA in the Hoonigan booth, or in the Hoonigan section, I should say. It was a whole party. So if you didn't see, that was, I think, part three of the SEMA videos. Go check that out. But this thing is just so cool. And obviously not surrounded by people because it's towards the end of the day. This thing is awesome. Love this car. And that's about it for today. Back sort of where we began next to the black Chevy Blazer RS under the really cool Chicago Auto Show logo. I love that logo. And there were so many amazing cars. The Countach, the 918s, two familiar cars on the channel, as well as the Camaro 037. That is, I think, is my number one car of the show. The Tucker 48, super, super cool. And of course, the Mustang GTD. I think that's my favorite new car here. Just an incredible car. I can't wait to see more of those in the near future. But if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. This is me, Patrick, the King of Cars. Thank you for watching. Take care. Look at this. McLaren 750S Spider in amethyst purple. Great day, bud. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have our blueberry. That is our post-credit scene. <laughs>